So it was 22, 18 p.m. It is still Saturday night. I'm not doing book reviews because my head hurts. Because <sighs> I spent the past... When I started four-ish. I, mean, I just got done a while ago, six hours of reading. So I'll do a quick movie, TV show review, actually. And it is for Penny Dreadful, City of Angels. <sighs> I don't know, I missed that series. I can't believe they canceled that shit because of low viewership. That's stupid. Like, I enjoyed the concept. I love that it was a spinoff of the original. I still need to review that, actually. I did enjoy it the first, what was it, three seasons of that? Yeah, three seasons. That was really good stuff. Um, but yeah, City Angels had such great potential. Natalie Dormer in multiple roles in that flawlessly pulled off. I loved it. I like the um was it German bun? Yeah, I did. I did. I enjoyed the German bun. Cause I remember I was tweeting about this when it came on too, because there were different things I was into at the time. And that was one of them because I wanted to know more. Um And it was nice seeing a different aspect in Penny Dreadful as well. I still think it's bitch bow shows got canceled. This one especially because it was just, it it was its first season. <laughs> like damn. But I think people didn't watch it because they didn't care for the. Because all the posts I saw, they bitched about it was a Latino lead, it was a Mexican lead. They don't care for. If it's a P, if it's a POC person of color, nobody gives a flying fuck. People cried as DW and woke. Like, like, do a little history, do a little search, <laughs> shit. Because mm. I was actually surprised. Because I was curious. I was like, were the Germans actually in California back then? They were <laughs> Nazi German Nazis. We're actually in California back then. I'm surprised at that. And that's what I like about some shows. Is that most of them will mix um, history into the show. And you don't even realize it until you're either looking it up. Or you're a brainiac for wherever you live. And you're like, oh yeah, I knew about that shit. <laughs> yeah. It was a good cast. It was a good layout. I enjoyed the um, Spanish aspect. It was good. It was really fucking good. And the first season was so... It builds up really strong. And I love that. And it's a fucking shame. It's gone. It's not coming back. Oh, well. I know they continued, Penny, the original series got continued in comics. I don't know if this one did or not. I'll have to research and find out. But <clears throat> I like how there was, uh, I want to say three different worlds in this. You had the Nazi aspect of it. You had the Latino community aspect. And you had the supernatural aspect of it as well. And the religious aspect, too, because you had um, that church. Uh, I can't remember the fucking name. But yeah, I liked that church, too, because that was really interesting. And there was so much there they could have built on. It could have gone on for at least three, four seasons tops. But, oh well. So, if you don't like Penny Dreadful, you don't like AMC, that's not for you. You don't like people of color in your shows... Even though everybody has a multiple shade to them in some fucking way. It's not for you. <laughs> if you don't like historical shit, it's not for you. But if you enjoy all that, you will have a good time trying it out, even though it's one season. But it's still something to really watch and enjoy at the same time. Um, who did I like the most? I gotta say, I like Natalie Dormer. She was really good in that for having multiple roles. 
and I would imagine she would have had more, doing more multiple roles as the series progressed, which would have been a lot of fun. And I like that multi-role aspect because that was done in Back to the Future, so that was an homage to that. So, yeah, I liked it. I just hate the fact that everything good gets canceled for some stupid fucking reason, whether it's numbers or backlash or just bullshit. I don't know. Anyway. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to get some food because I haven't eaten all day. <laughs> so I'll have a slew of book reviews tomorrow, though, and I'll feel a lot better because I have... Um, <laughs> I think it's about um, eight or so reviews to run off, so they'll be uploaded as they come. So, until next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers. <laughs>